everybody. Lance Russell and Dave Brown right along ringside. And we're ready to go with another big day championship wrestling. Boy, we have got a we got a lot, but we got a couple of matches in particular, Dave, that uh, I'm looking forward to. You're right. Get ready for that opening match because Jimmy Jack Funk is coming this way for that one. A little bit later on, we got Big Scott Hall in here who's going to be in in a in a handicap match. And we got Hector. Is it ever going to be possible for us to open the show without you out here? Celebrate Christmas right, not the way you all celebrate it. Today, we will celebrate my style in a few moments, you know? Magic style for all you people, you know? Mexican holiday yeah. celebration yeah. from Hector coming up later, apparently. All right. Well, we'll wait for that, I'm sure. T. Joe Khan will be in here in a single match a bit later on, too. Jeff Jarrett will be here. He'll be in a match against Hector. That should be a terrific match coming up later on. And then Nightmare Number 1 will be here in a match against Billy Travis. Quite a day well, championship I mean, wrestling. Hey, Scott Hall's got a handicap yes, match sir. today, too. So Big Scott will be here. Lots of action lined up today on this championship wrestling Take no more time. Let's take a break and we'll be back for that opening bout in just a moment. Okay, we're sitting here waiting for our opening participants. Well, here comes Jimmy Jack Funk heading to us. So hey, I we got get something out. I want to say to all these egg-sucking, yellow, sissy people out here. You people aren't good enough to yell anything at me. So when I come out here, I want you to shut your mouth and pay attention to the roughest, toughest wrestler that's ever been in this area before. Do you hear me? I said shut your mouth. I might come out there and slap one of you myself. And I'm going to tell another thing, too. Jerry Lawler, king of the sissies, is spreading the rumor that he beat me last Monday night. But no, no, no. He couldn't beat me on my worst day. He had to come out with a flamethrower right in front of the referee and burn my eyes to where I couldn't find a ring. Jerry Lawler, anytime, anytime you got the guts to get in the ring with me, get in there. And I want to tell you people, if I ever get you hollering against me or for me, I'll jump right out of the ring and slap your yellow sissy face in. Okay, Jimmy Jack, you will to the ring. Okay, Davey. Well, that was Jimmy Jack Funk. He's headed to the ring right now. Jimmy Jack out of Amarillo, Texas, at 245 pounds, going against Benny Wilson. Benny at 201 out of Arkansas. Jerry Calhoun is the referee, and this is going to be a one-fall, 10-minute time limit match as we get things underway on championship wrestling. Jimmy Jack got all kinds of hardware that he has to uh, get rid of That's before the referee. Yeah, that, uh, all of it. There. Yeah. This is my good luck charm. Yeah. Yeah, good luck charm. Hangman's noose and a cowbell on the end of it. Well, we're underway technically as the bell has sounded. Jimmy Jack unhappy with the crowd. He doesn't want to yell it for him or against him, he said. Either way. Either doesn't way. want him to comment. Yeah. Just sit there in dead silence. <laughs> match a uh, size-wise, at, at, at least a mismatch, and uh, otherwise, too, with the experience that Jimmy Jack has uh, from around the world. Boy, he's been in there with all of them, and what a rough, tough son of a gun this guy is. Benny Wilson. Uh, we'll remember this day, Dave, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm afraid you're right. It's, uh, it's that old thing. What a way to get experience, huh? Body slam by Jimmy Jack Funk. Benny Wilson found himself slammed on the mat. Jimmy Jack talking to the crowd. Benny Wilson goes around behind him. Hey, shoulders down. One, two, almost had him. He had a two count on Jimmy Jack. Funk picks him up, though. Oh, and throws him onto the rope. Well, it looked like he just made him mad. Boy, I'll tell you, he made him mad. Jimmy uh, Jack again picks him up, and there's that huge knee lift. He just picked him right up off the canvas, knocked him in the air, and Jimmy Jack continuing as he snaps him over and steps right down on his face. Big, mean son of a gun. Amarillo, Texas, the home of the Funks, and Jimmy Jack rips him with a right hand down on the mat. You're right, Dave. He just made him mad. That's all he did. 
Boy, Funk now just going right after him. Funk, uh, I think, overlooked him. He was talking to the crowd and suddenly realized I better take care of business. Well, he's doing it with a vengeance right now. Benny Wilson lying on a mat. Hit him with a clothesline and had stars twinkling around in his eye. <laughs> Funk with a boot to the midsection, back in the corner. Follows with a right fist and another one. Referee is there saying, hey, you can't do that. He did it anyway. Benny Wilson reverses him into the turnbuckle, but as he oh. went after him. Oh, oh my goodness. Good night. Man, I'm surprised that head is still attached to the neck. That may require a neck brace when I, there's a whip flash you put on him there. There's a one, a two, and it's over. Mercifully, I think, for Benny Wilson. After that incredible clothesline that Funk hit him with as uh, Wilson was going to try to come into the corner after him. Two minutes, 26 seconds the time to win for Jimmy Jack Funk. Billy, uh, Benny, rather, thought that he had the opportunity to rush him in the corner, and it looked like he was going to get him. But about uh, two-thirds of the way in, bam! Oh. Funk timed it perfectly, no yeah, doubt about it. He really did. Jimmy Jack still hollering around at the crowd. We'll take our time out. Take a break, and we're going to be back. we got plenty of action. Big Scott all in just a moment. Wednesday night, Evansville Coliseum, son of a gun, what a great night of action. Rockers are going to be there defending against the team of Lawler and Dundee. The Raging Bull will be there. And Jeff Jarrett will be in the ring with Hector Guerrero in a single match. I'm not particularly too happy about hey, you. No, 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 no. Hey, this is your job. You take care of it. And you people out there in Evansville, listen to one thing and listen to it. Right. Jeff Jarrett, you think you know what a grudge match is? You never had a grudge match in your life. You don't even know what you're getting into. To. You know, kind of what happened in the Alamo is the same thing is going to happen to you. We are going to win, and that's me. You remember that, Jeff. Drive down your throat. I'm sure he won't forget it a bit. Wednesday night, I hope you don't forget it. Got that big match with Lawler and Dundee. Great tag team going against the Midnight Rockers for the belts. Listen to Mark Goulin. You idiots were told weeks ago that the House of Goulin was here to destroy a legend. Well, this week... The Southern Tag Team Champions, my Midnight Rockers, will have the pleasure of destroying two legends at the same time. Bill Dundee and Jerry Lawler will be nothing but memories when we are done with them. They will be legends no more. Super night of action Wednesday night. Lawler and Dundee going against the Midnight Rockers. Hector and Jeff, lots of other action coming up. Wednesday night in Evansville. Okay, we're going to be seeing Big Scott Hall in the ring here coming up in just one moment. Uh, before we do, as we had uh, previously had a visit from Hector, we had told him yeah, that was uh, an unscheduled one. He just had to come out and make himself known. What he had said we're going to put in the world is the wild Mexican guy. What, what in the world have you got? Wait, 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 put this over here to the side over here. Okay. In my country, we don't go around yelling to all you little boys and girls that there's a fat person coming down and trying to get down the chimney with all the presents. You see, we bring a piñata. This is a Mexican fiesta style piñata. That's P-I-N-Y-A-T-A. You know, in our language, we got other letters besides the other letters that you have in yours. We got more letters because we're more sophisticated. Very you all remember. In the royal language, remember that. The royal race and the royal language. But as a piñata is our time of year, it is also a beautiful Mexican fiesta. What we do with our kids, so we fill this piñata, we put all kinds of toys and all kinds of candy, and we put cacahuates, which I, really, I, I told a little while, which means peanuts, and we put all kinds of little fruits in it, and we hang it up in the top, Lance, and we blindfold a person, we turn them around, and we let them try to break it. Now, everybody goes through a try, which you're going to, uh, if you could be not so nice to demonstrate today. No. No, wait a minute, Lance. Can I think, does everybody want Lance to demonstrate with me? Very, very yeah, 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 yeah
Come on, lad. Hey. Dan, did I tell you you was my favorite gringo? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I will do what it. What is it you want me well, to do? Okay, now. hold on, hold on. Well, first we got to do, I want you to hold that right there like that. Okay. We're going to take your anto anteojos are. You know what these are, right? Yeah. Remember I told you what those are in Spanish? Uh. Anteojos, lentes. Uh, yeah, We're okay. going to take these off, okay? Can you see? Yeah. Where? Are you as blind as I am? Well, no. I don't know. <laughs> Remember what your mother told you not to do when you were a baby? All right, hold on. All right, Hector, let's get, hey, we got <laughs> a match coming up. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, listen, listen, this is my time, okay? Are you stepping up for these gringos again or what? Hey, all okay, I Okay, relax, hey, you shut all up out there, just relax, okay? You're gonna enjoy yourself. What's this? This is your flag! This is the best flag that ever lived! This is where you don't drink it from, remember that! Okay, what we do is we create a little, uh, little bandana here that, uh, you know, all you, you know, all about the bucket around. Well, what is it? And you tell them, you know, you know how to do this. You know, you just get it around in a little circle like this. Uh-huh. And then after that, we're going to put it right around you so you can't hey, see that. Hey, wait a minute. Wait no. a minute, Lance, you what? can't see. Like, you said Come you on. was going to cooperate. Yeah, you're right. So are you going to cooperate or not? Hey, but listen, the a blindfold with you around, what in the world I is I promise this? nothing will happen to you, Lance. I love you. There's a lot of candies that are going to come out, and we're going to give it to all the beautiful kids around the United States so that you can see how good and beautiful our country is to you. Yeah. One moment, Mr. Hey, can we move it on here? I feel like I've gone into the twilight zone or something. This is my time. You understand that? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. hold on there. I is hope you all are all worth time? this for getting is this candy time? out of here. Okay, oh, that's okay. okay. That's okay. Okay, okay. Now, hold on there. Hold on there. Hold on. Okay. Let me see, Dave. Can you come over here and hold this there for a little bit? Don't worry, just don't step too close to Lance. Stay well, right there, stay right do? there. Don't move, hey, don't, don't move. Don't be taking my mic. Wait, 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 right here, hold on. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. wait. Hey, hold what? on, hold on now. Hey, is it, will this mic work? Yeah, anything you want to do. Uh, uh, yeah, this huh? this mic is working. What you got? Working? Where are you? Wait, wait, wait. This is turning hey, off, everybody. I'm going to put a mic on my hair so we can hear you. Okay. All right. Now, hold him for me, Dave, just for a moment while I get them all set up and everything. I won't twirl them around too much because you've got too many, too many, too many wires. I wonder if he's made out of a... Out of some kind of computer or something. Hacked okay, left. So now we got a little. Now we okay, got a what little. What have I got here? Now you got a stick. You're gonna try okay. to hit this stick, okay? Now everybody's gonna try to be quiet or help or yell or whatever you want to do. Hit it, Lance! Hit it, Lance! It's just good. So gotta all, I, it. all I gotta, gotta do it. is break it, and we can get this thing over with. Well, you break it, and then you get okay. all the, the candy to okay. come with it. And it's all for you and your kids. Okay, okay. Okay, now, Lance. Okay, Lance. Okay, Lance. It's right above you, Lance. It's right above you, Lance. comments out of you either. I'll leave you alone in one minute. Look at it. Get, just get in the ring, all right? What's the matter with this guy? You having a party? I, 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 I tell you, uh, I'm not taking this one. Let's get the match underway here. It's a handicap match. We got Big Scott Hall in out of Orlando, Florida. He weighs in at 287 pounds. He is going to be going against both Rough and Ready. Rough and Ready out of parts unknown. They've got Boss Winter in their corner. And, uh, as soon as Jerry Calhoun gives the signal, we'll uh, sound the bell. Here we go. Handicap match, Big Scott Hall out of Orlando. 
rough and ready. Under the handicap rules of this one, both of them can be in there at the same time. So it is a two against one situation. Rough and ready. Try to beat up on Big Scott Hall, but look at this guy. Look at the muscles on this guy. Tremendous upper body strength. Ready. One of them jumped out of there, and Boss Winter said, hey, get back in there. Don't leave him alone with that guy. A body slam by Scott Hall. Boo! A shot by Scott Hall over here in the corner. Down to the mat, and that rocked the entire ring when Scott Hall dropped him down. He's got it. Oh, boot to the midsection. Rough and ready with teamwork here. Able to stay in the action. Got him now, Boss Winter says. He's bit off more than he can chew. Like he has just put both of them down to the mat, rolls one of them out of the ring. <laughs> Big Scott Hall. In control of this one pretty much. There's a bulldog. He rolls him over. Counts one, two. This match is over. Minute 35 seconds of time. 135. Big Scott Hall, a victory in the handicap match over Rough and Ready. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Hope you'll make your plans. Get the new year off rocking good. Thursday night, Litchfield, Kentucky. Take a look at it. Here's the entire card for Wednesday night. Boy, what a dandy it is. Big T. Joe Kahn will be going against Brian Nobbs. The Power Twins will be facing the Bruise Brothers. Scott Hall will be going against Jimmy Jack Funk. Think that won't have them shaken. Raging Bull Manny Fernandez faces Billy Travis. Jeff Jarrett, Hector Guerrero, and boy, I'll tell you what, what a personal thing that's going to turn out to be. And then the final match, put the AWA Southern Tag Team titles on the line. The Midnight Rockers, Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty, will be going against the legendary team of the superstar Bill Dundee and the King Jerry Lawler. All of that lined up for Wednesday night in the Coliseum, Evansville, Indiana. Friend, I'll tell you, it is worth the trip. Make your point to be out there. Start the year off right. And get going with another match. First, in case you joined us late, uh, I'm Dave Brown at ringside. Lance was here earlier, but uh, Hector was out here with this goofy pinata he had as a, as a Mexican holiday celebration, which was loaded with flour. And, and uh, he, had when Lance, he had Lance blindfolded when he hit it with a stick. All the flour came out and all that. So Lance has gone... I'm not sure exactly where Lance is right now, cleaning up, I'm sure. And uh, anyway, he, he, he left, and uh, certainly don't blame him for doing that uh, after all that silly stuff with, uh, with uh, Hector. All right, we've got David Wilson in the ring. Let me ring the bell here and see if we can get his opponent in here, T. Joe Khan, expected to be coming into the area right now. T. Joe, the wild one out of Singapore. Here he comes. He's under the ropes. He jumps in a ring. He grabs David Wilson. No time for official introductions there. Khan just grabs him and really goes to work on him. Back on the ropes, whip across the way, up in the air on a power slam by T. Joe Khan. T. Joe Khan, 242 pounds worth out of Singapore. Oh, goodness. Got him right in the midsection with a big, big fist. A headbutt by T. Joe Kahn. Look out. Through the ropes and down on the floor goes David Wilson. David's brother, Benny, in here earlier against Jimmy Jack Funk. So far, it has been a very rugged day for the Wilson brothers wrestling as singles today. Kahn with a body slam down on the floor. Yeah, the referee is trying to get him back in the ring. 
Oh, look out. Onto the table. David Wilson. Boy, David. Down on the floor here, Khan in the ring. Referee Jerry Calhoun starting to count. David crawling back over to the ring apron. Up on one foot. Khan picks him up by the hair. He's up on the apron. Oh, big forearm. And again, David Wilson hits the concrete floor. Khan down on the floor after him. Rolls him back into the ring. Khan now. He's a pressure point expert, and he's going on one right now. Referee checking with him, see if he's giving it up. So far, he has not. Yep, David Wilson hanging in there. Boy, I'm not sure what I would have just said. Hey, that's it. Oh, Khan drops him right on the ropes. Look at him. T. Joe Khan. He nailed him. Jabbed him with the left hand. Here's a cover. One, two, it's over. Well, it went two minutes, 23 seconds, 2.23, and all T. Joe Khan, as he came in, even before the opening bell sounded, he got right under the ropes, grabbed David Wilson, and come on, the match is over now. He's still choking him. Here comes Dundee. Dundee's got a board. Oh, across the back, he nails T. Joe Khan. And that gets Khan out of the ring anyway. Billy, trying to help out David Wilson, who was in no shape to help himself at that point. And now Wilson. Being helped out of there by uh, Jerry Calhoun. Here's Billy. Billy, thanks very much for coming in and helping uh, against that guy. You're welcome. Now, Mark Galeen, I don't know where you got him. You say you get him from Singapore, but I don't think he's crazy, because if he was crazy, he would have come back to get hit again, because where there's no sense, there's no feeling. But he obviously felt that, and he left. So I don't really think he's nuts, Galeen. I think it's something that you fabricated, just like your accent. I don't like you, punk, because I don't like nobody coming out here with a phony accent, because mine ain't phony. It's real, Daddy, because I was born in Australia and raised in America, and I'm very proud of that. And that idiot's going right back to Singapore just as soon as I get my hands on him. Now, Eddie Marlin has got me booked all over the country against him. Well, that's fine, because I don't like him. I don't like you, Con, nothing you stand for, because I don't like guys with big muscles. And I'm taking you right, punk. Now, how do you like that? The word for Bill Dundee. We'll take a break. More of championship wrestling coming back in just a moment. Jam says, come on, Hector. Yeah, this one is going to be different than the last one, he says. Jeff felt he made a mistake in wrestling Hector fair and square last time. And he says, whatever it takes, he will answer Hector with whatever tactics it takes this time. Jeff using the shoulder very effectively. Boy, what a great balance Jeff has. He stopped on a dime right there. Set himself and waited. Now he's got Hector in a headlock. Hector in the side headlock is still talking. Oh, winding up a little bit on it. Look out, Hector pulling his hair. Yeah, still got that headlock on him. Hector got him with a forearm to the rib cage. Did not shake Jeff's hold, however. Jeff Jarrett, Hector Guerrero. Good single match. Oh, down to the mat. Goes Jeff. Shoulders down. He got a count of one and a half. Well, two count, actually. Look at Jeff. He flipped Hector. Hector back on his feet, and Jeff gets him in a headlock again. Hector spent most of this match in a headlock so far. From Mexico City, Mexico. Hector Guerrero against Jeff Jarrett out of Hendersonville, Tennessee. Got him wrap up that headlock. Oh, 
<laughs> Jeff turns him loose, and Hector face first on the mat. Jeff immediately goes for the cover. Only gets a count of one, though. And now Hector says, hey, I'm going to take a minute, get out of here. Let me get away from him, and then I'll start yelling that he pulled my hair. Hector Guerrero back up into the ring now. Two minutes, two seconds have gone on the action. Now he's showing the referee, hey, what he was doing, referee. It looked like a headlock, but he was actually pulling my hair. Well, the referee, I don't think, is buying any of that. There's some hair pulling, but it's done by Hector Guerrero. He snapped Jeff down to the mat. Yeah, he had a handful of hair. Hector says, no, I would never do that, referee. I abide by the rules when it's convenient. <laughs> Only you didn't tell him that part, I don't think. Got a bar on the left arm. Hector with the advantage at the moment. Not for long, Jeff Jarrett fires him into the ropes. Puts him over the shoulder coming off of there, and Hector finds himself on his back. There's cover by Jeff. Hector able to kick out of it before the three count. Jeff immediately takes him down and puts a bar on Hector's left arm. Three minutes, five seconds gone in this one. It's a one fall, 10 minute time limit match. Good, good action. Hector Guerrero and Jeff Jarrett. Forearm across the chest. Hector trying to break out of this hole. Jeff tightened up on it a bit. With the hole, Jeff's able to put pressure on the elbow and the shoulder. He's especially putting the heat on the shoulder right there. Hector, meanwhile, trying to use a forearm, but not much room to wind up with it. Hector flipped, but lands on his feet. Not this time, though, as Jeff has him down on the mat. Referee is right there saying, hey, you want to give this one up? Hector so far not doing that. And his left shoulder is well off the mat, so a count does not start. Four minutes gone. <laughs> I could hear that all the way over to the desk here. Hector is accusing the referee of bias. He says, you are not calling this one fair and square. I don't know what he's complaining about. Jeff's got a perfectly legitimate hold on that left arm. They're very near the middle of the ring. And the referee is watching every move they make. Power against the upper arm. Rod says, yeah, do it again. Jeff Jarrett with the upper hand over Hector Guerrero. If we were awarding points, Jeff would be well ahead at this point. There's a right fist. Hector hit him right in the eye with his fist. Look out, Jeff's head slammed into the turnbuckle. Five minutes gone, five minutes left. Straight up in the air, Hector has Jeff Jarrett. And he drops him with a suplex. Here's a cover by Hector. Count is at two. Jeff kicks out before the three count. Jeff grabs him, trying to flip him down, but Hector hit him with a fist. Open hand, he says. Yeah, open hand. He hit him with a doubled up fist, let me tell you. There's another fist. Right in the top of the head. Hector Guerrero going to the Dirty Tricks department. But he's taking control of the match as a result. He's got a cover after the backbreaker. Count of two. Jeff almost pinned. He kicked out of it just before the referee's hand started down with a three count. Snap suplex by Hector. And a cover. One, two. Now again, Jeff breaks out of it before the three count. I think Hector thought he had him pinned that time, but Jeff's still alive. Big right fist again. Hector really using that right fist in this match. Six and a half minutes gone. The action continues. We'll have another match to follow this one. 
And that one, it'll be Billy Travis. Nightmare Ken Wayne should be a good one. Hector Guerrero has Jeff down on the mat. Oh, he's going to drop on it. But Jeff pulled up the knees. And it didn't work out for Hector Guerrero. Head slammed into the mat. Hector again slams Jeff's head down into the mat. Crowd, come on, we're going to shout, go, Jeff, go. Jeff with a right hand and another one. Hector rakes his fingers across his eyes. Jeff snapped down, the shoulders are on the mat. One, two, only a two count. Jeff finally able to upset the balance there and prevent being pinned. Hector's been close a couple of times, but he hasn't made it yet. Knee lift by Jeff Jarrett off the rope. Big right fist. Hector back. Whipped across the way. Jeff got him with a right hand. Referee warning him about the closed fist. Jeff said it before the match. Whatever Hector used, Jeff felt was fair for him to use in return, and I think that's the way he feels about that fist right now because Hector has nailed him half a dozen times. Back drop. Good drop kick. Hector hits the mat. Here's another one. Hector bounces back to his feet. Jeff again hits him with a drop kick. This time, Hector stays down on the mat. Jeff back on his feet. Oh, there's Lance. Lance is just... What? <laughs> Look out, Hector! Jeff Jarrett has just returned. The five pounds of flour. Yeah, I'm going to applaud that, too. Lance, after being doused with the flour with Hector and his silly Christmas joke out here with a pinata, Lance has just gotten even with Hector Guerrero. There he is in a cloud of dust. A cloud of dust. Hector Guerrero, good enough for you. Oh, you all disgusting. I hate you. I'll get you back to the Yeah, you just, they just got you back is what happened there. Get out of here, Hector. Hector Guerrero covered with flour. There he goes. Hey, Jeff, you just saw him here. Let's take a look right here at the Jeff Jarrett poster. Snakeskin boots. Faded jeans. Broad shoulders. And blonde hair. Wow. Now that's a poster. To order your Jeff Jarrett poster, call 1-800-336-2600. That's 1-800-336-2600. Save COD charges by having your credit card ready, or send a check or money order in the amount of $10 to Jarrett Poster, Post Office Box 3020, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, 08034. Allow two weeks for delivery. night at the Coliseum that I tell you a great night of action coming up in Evansville and boy I'll tell you one of the matches it'll be interesting to see Jeff Jarrett Hector Guerrero Hector was out here a little early boy he was mad and he was running his mouth probably when oh, he oh, wasn't he well he can run his mouth all he wants but Hector you come down to Evansville Coliseum Wednesday night and you just might get a little bit more flour or a chain or a chair who knows what's gonna happen but there's nothing else I'd like better than to pin your shoulders to the mat one two three mm, wouldn't make me mad either Jeff like I'll tell you another great match that I'm looking forward 
forward to Southern Tag Titles. Two great champions, Lawler and Dundee, going against the Midnight Rockers, Billy. We're looking forward to it for a couple of reasons, because we would like to be the Southern Tag Team title holders, but the other reason is, when we won the AWA World Title Match, them two guys went around and said, oh, they were paper champions, they never beat anybody until you faced the Rockers. Well, think about this, boys, this is a kind of like a World Title Match, because you were the World Title holders, and so were we, and you got something we want, the Southern Titles, and we go take them. Yeah, it's going to be a most interesting match, Jerry. Yeah, you know, the Rockers did hold the AWA World Tag Team titles for quite a long time. Bill and I, not quite as long. That's why we've got something to prove. And it's, the, the good thing about this is right now, when you talk about the Rockers, they've sort of got an attitude problem, a bad attitude. Really? And what we're going to give them right there in Evansville Wednesday night is an attitude adjustment, fellas. There's nothing we'd like better than to take you two young gentlemen in there, and right on the ends of these fists right here is change your attitude around till it's like it sh should be, like it used to be. And that's what we're going to do. And in the process, we're going to take those belts Wednesday night. All right, there's uh, okay. Billy Travis up there in the ring with the referee. The flower yeah. still there on the uh, man. I wonder how that got I there. I don't know. <laughs> I can't imagine how that got there. Thank goodness more of it got on someplace else than it got right there. Got on Hector Guerrero. Here comes uh, Ken Wayne, the nightmare, as he... Oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. I'll tell you what Ken said here in just a minute. First, uh, well, the referee says, let's get going. We'll do it. We'll give you the introductions all as we go along. Ken Wayne out of Memphis, Tennessee, nightmare number one. Ken weighs in at about 216. Billy Travis out of Lexington, Kentucky at 223. Going against each other in a great single match here. Tell him what Ken said. All right, well, kids, Ken came in the ring. He said, you know, I'll show you how to wrestle a guy who's on a losing streak, and it ain't going to get any better today. Yeah, that gives you an idea. Look at him go. Nice head scissors on Travis. Travis earlier started it off by converting into a top wrist lock, and it was a dandy until he gets a one count. He wasn't anywhere close to being pinned, but uh, Ken Wayne took advantage of it, and he thought he'd go for it. Sometimes you can steal one that way. Standing side headlock with uh, the nightmare, Ken Wayne, hanging on to Billy Travis. Travis trying to take some of the pressure off, drives Wayne into the ropes, fires him across. Look at that. He is nimble. I had forgotten all of the great moves. As Billy was coming off the ropes, Ken on a hip toss, reverse, kick out, and now they're back up there. The referee's saying, ho, 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 don't get those fists doubled up. Ken Wayne, Billy Travis, going at it. It's an expiration of time. Luckily, we got a few minutes here too, Dave. Yeah, I'm we do. With that. Got a little time to go in this match. Sometimes we uh, uh, run out of time just when we want the match to keep on going, but we got a few minutes today. Travis down, Ken over the top with that arm. He takes him over and down. He locked it and rolled with him and took him right down. Head scissors on Billy Travis and Ken Wayne. Hanging on tight as Billy's trying to look for a way. Turn to the side to take some of the pressure off. And now Ken over on uh, his stomach as Billy rolls up and hooks the toe. He's got the pressure being applied to Ken Wayne. It's not one of those things you're likely to get a pin out of, but it'll sure make your legs a little wobbly. The Nightmare back up on his knees, and he rolls out of a good escape as he got away from Billy Travis. He let his feet go down and slid right out from under Billy on the backside. Takes Travis up, hooks him into a hammer behind, goes for a chin lock, and pulls Billy's head back around. Grape finds a leg and pitches Billy forward. Nice maneuver. Travis rolled over one, but he gets the shoulder up, and Travis hang right in there. Goes for a side headlock. But he's rolled down with a count of one, and when the referee hit the mat, big cloud of flour came up, caught him right in the eye, and he may not be able to count from here on, Dave. Well, I tell you, these guys are really going at each other. Reverse, reverse, reverse is what we're seeing. There's one right there, hip toss by Ken Wayne. You know, Wayne is in here, the nightmare in here, with nothing really to prove. He's just in here to wrestle and try to win the match. Billy, on the other hand, has said earlier, uh, he's lost a lot of matches in a row. Now, he's lost them to people like Jimmy Jack Funk and Manny Fernandez, the, the, the top names in the wrestling business. But still, he, uh, he's not used to losing consecutive matches like that, and it's got to be working on him a little bit. He's got to be thinking, hey, i got to break the losing streak I'm on. You know, it's kind of like a, a baseball batter who falls into a slump, and mm -hmm. he gets 100 different pieces of advice, and nothing seems to work. 
and the longer it goes, the bigger it builds in your mind, and that can happen in, in wrestling likewise. Ooh, elbow to the midsection. Takes Travis over and down, and Billy with an arm bar put on him right up tight. He's trying to pry his way out. Ken hanging on to the bar as Travis went to the hair in desperation, and the referee breaks that up. We're about uh, five minutes somewhere in there, aren't we, Davey? We're just coming up on the four-minute mark right four now. Four-minute mark mm -hmm. into the action. So far, no one has been able to gain a clear advantage. It's been Ken Wayne for a couple of uh, for a few seconds, and then it's been uh, Billy Travis. Right now, it's Ken Wayne controlling. Well, I looked at a move by Ken right there where he slammed that leg down. People say, "Huh." Oh. But that, there's nothing illegal about that. No, I mean, that's simply no, taking that. advantage of the situation. Hey, that doesn't make it hurt any less, but it sure takes advantage of the situation. Ken hanging on to that arm, trying to keep Travis off balance. But Billy, good, smart move by Bill. He rolls the weight of the nightmare up over the top of his shoulders. Got a one count, but that's all he could get. Nightmare has him down, and the right shoulder has to come up in a hurry as Billy was kind of taking a second breath as uh, as he had his right shoulder down on a count of two, and he had to whip it up. Forearm lick, absolutely legal, boy. Look at him stagger, Ken Wayne, and Ken right back with one himself. You better believe. <laughs> Tempers start to flare a little bit in there now. Yes, uh, they are. Okay. What an even match this yeah, is. I'm impressed. Yeah. We have passed five minutes now. We're at five minutes, ten seconds. Oh, Billy got that fist doubled up when he when he came up on his knee that time. Referee right there watching him, so don't use it. Well, like you say, that mental thing uh, starts to play on you, and son of a gun, it just it can really build up. And Ken Wayne, of course, uh, with a lot of wins, has a nightmare in there, and he's wanting to win just as much. What are we down to? We've only got about four minutes in our time period. Yeah, that's here. just about right. About uh, a little less than four minutes, as a matter of fact, left. Ooh, boy, did you see him snap that head around there? Hit him with the upper part of the arm. And the referee's saying it's legal. It doesn't look legal, but it is. Yes, it is, indeed. That, as we said a little earlier, it doesn't make it hurt any less. Look at him pound away on Ken Wayne. Crotches him, scoops him, Ken kicks, and he's down one, two. And a nice kick out by Billy Travis. Wayne right back up. That's one of the things I've noticed here. When these guys lose an advantage, they jump right back into it again. It's beautiful to see. There's upper arm. upper arm again, Davy. Okay, our time dwindling down here. Uh, we've got a little special presentation we want to uh, make before this program is over with, so we're going to slip a little of our time out. So we've only got about one minute to go in here as uh, Ken Wayne the Nightmare and Billy Travis have been hammering each other since the opening bell. Ken Staggert comes back with a wheel. Whoa. Look at that. Man, oh, man. They're starting to steam it up now. Yeah, they're, they've gone Wayne. to the illegal from time to time, too. They're just throwing right fist and forearms in here. That's a fist. That's a fist. Look at them just standing there slugging at each other like a couple of kids on the playground just battling back and forth. Billy. Oh, my goodness. And he hammered Ken Wayne down on uh, that reverse atomic knee. Ken kicks out. Uh, after one and a half counts, and they're continuing to go at it. As down goes Billy Travis, our time running out, and so whoever's going to go do it does in fact need to make an effort. And Travis up, it's down. Time is up. Sorry, the time the time went That's out. It. Travis and uh, Ken Wayne, little chicken fighting after the bell. There, they don't uh, they develop. A real genuine competition right there, Dave. Boy, they, they hadn't settled that. We we may we may get to see them in a future match here. Uh, somewhere down the line, somewhere in the territory. Oh, well, Ken Wayne wants to shake hands now. Billy shakes hands. I think Billy uh, a little hacked off that he didn't get a win in here. And uh, so, okay, let's see if we can get the king out here right now. We've got a quick presentation that we want to make. and. As Ken uh, dismounts and leaves the ring, Billy Travis will. Here he comes right now. Okay, Jerry, we got.
got you out here as we cut uh, that match down where we could get you out here. Huh? Uh, okay. Yes. Mr. Gentleman. Lance, I'm Mark Stansberry, representing the office of Governor Ned McWhorter. And Governor McWhorter is pleased to add his name to the list of Tennesseans who are very proud of the king, Jerry Lawler. Lawler. And he has asked me to come down and present a certificate to the king. It says, All right. by, the, by Ned McWhorter, governor, on behalf of the people of Tennessee, to the Honorable Jerry Lawler, whereas reposing special trust and confidence in your patriotism, valor, and fidelity, I do by these presents constitute and appoint you Colonel Aide de Camp Governor Staff. All right, Mark, that is beautiful. Yeah. Can we get this turned around, Jerry? How about you holding? I'd like to get it on that camera right over here on camera, too. Yeah, and would you have him? And Mark? also, we have a pen representing with the seal of the state of Tennessee from the governor we'd like to have for the king to wear in his lapel. Thank you. That's it's quite an honor and uh, unexpected. You better and, believe and, it. Uh, is. I don't know what to say. Hey. I'm speechless, but uh, I, I really want to thank you and thank the governor very much. Okay, Colonel, thank you. Thank you, Mark, for being down here with us. We appreciate it very much. Time out back in a moment. Hey, I like right. that. I'll tell you what, I uh, just saw a wheel of a wrestling match in there, David. We uh, wanted to get that special presentation in for the king, and uh, so we did have to cut about a minute and a half out of our expiration of time. But, boy, what a match it was. Huh? Well, I tell you, they were going at each other. We said during the match, first one had, had the advantage and then the other. And, uh, boy, what a battle we saw here today. Great expiration of time match and uh, main event. We, um, we'd, we'd like to have main events like that where they're very evenly matched and, uh, and go right down to the wire. Opening match was not as well balanced today. Jimmy Jack Funk in here uh, took control immediately and won his match over Benny Wilson. Big Scott Hall we took a look at in a handicap match. Most of the time it was rough and ready in the ring at the same time and still, guess who got their hand raised in a handicap match? Yeah. The big guy, Scott Hall out of Orlando, Florida. He weighs in at 292. He is huge. He is very tall. He is very large and uh, he won that match uh, in impressive fashion. It was T. Joe Kahn going against David Wilson. Uh, as I said earlier, a tough day for the Wilson brothers. Benny uh, getting beat up on by Jimmy Jack Funk, and the same thing pretty much happened to David as he, as he was going against T. Joe Kahn. Then it was Hector Guerrero against Jeff Jarrett. Now, this one had a very interesting twist at the end. In this one, it was again one of those matches where uh, Jeff controlled most of it, but then Hector was starting to make a move from time to time. But due to an incident which had happened earlier, yes. in which, well, Hector was out here with that goofy piñata, which turned out to be filled with flour. Not candy, not as candy we were going to give to the kids in the audience when I broke, if and when I broke the thing. And you did, right over your head, and it was flour everywhere. Yeah. But you made a little trip to the, uh, to the grocery, and right down the street. Uh, somehow, that uh, five pounds of flour got handed to Jeff Jarrett, and Jeff <laughs> blasted Hector with it, and he left here. Boy, was he mad. It was disqualification. Hector won the match, but who cares anyway, hey, right? Really? Yeah, yeah. I Billy Travis and Nightmare uh, Ken Wayne uh, uh, battled to a draw as uh, the time ran out on that main event. Okay, I think we, speaking of time running out, that isn't all that's going to run out on. we got to get out of here for Dave Brown. Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely...